Hey guys, Ray again. I'm in my home shop today and you may recall that a few months ago I ended up discussing this little box right here and I said that it was an interesting project that was coming up and what I've got in here might be a little bit of a surprise. So I find myself often needing a 12 volt power supply. So a battery, a car battery, motorcycle battery works. But I've got an old power supply. This is a Dell. You can see right there. It's a Dell power supply out of an old computer that, among other things, has 12 volts. It has 12 volts, 5 volts, and 3 volts. But I'm interested in making a 12 volt portable power supply right out of this ammo can. And as you can see, that fits very well. One of the things I need to do is test out the wiring to make sure everything works. I'm going to show you how to test these things out. Okay, so here you can see it is a Dell power supply out of an old computer. Um, it will produce 18 amps on the 12 volts, which will be good for what I need. Which this will go right in here. Now you'll notice the fan is not on. This power supply is actually not on. And the way these work is if you take a look at your motherboard power supply cable, you will notice that there are many different colors, but there's only one green wire right there. So that green wire is the signal wire. When you press the power button on the front of your computer, you're actually completing the circuit between this wire and the common. Uh, the black wires here are the common wires. So one of the ways you can get this to work, and I'm gonna turn this so you might be, you may or may not be able to see that fan come on, is you take a paper clip like this and jump the green wire to any of the common wires. You just take them and you jump them together. That is the same thing as hitting the switch on the front of your computer. There you can hear that it's running. Now it's time to test it and make sure we have a good one. There you go. So I'm going to put it on any black wire and we'll do the red one first. Red one is 5 volts. You can see right there. Red is 5 volts. The blue one is negative 12 volts. Now that's important. So you got negative 12 volts there. You don't want to mix that one up with a positive 12 volts. The orange one is 3 volts. You can see it's reading 3.3 .3 there. The gray one is 5 volts. Uh, the white one is positive 12. For my purposes, for a portable 12 volt power supply, all I need is a positive 12 and any common. And I can use actually any wire on here. What I'm going to look for is some of the longer ones. So I'm not going to cut any of these off. But I'm going to cut this one here. And all I'm going to do is I'll probably just leave these connectors. I need a, a yellow and a common. So for my purposes, these are the two I'm going to need. There we are. For the signal, remember I said that the green one is how the switch is connected. So that switch is important. So I'm going to need this green one and this black one. So I'm just going to cut two of these loose. All right. So these are the four wires I'm going to use. Now we just need to go ahead and build the box out.
Okay, time to test this out. Let's see if I got it right. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. There we go. I don't hear anything. Quiet. Turn it on. She's on. But do we have 12 volts? Let's check it out. Put this up. Let me set this up so you can see it. There you go. Put this here. Put this here. And there we have it. 12 volts. So nice, neat little portable package. Let's see if it disappears. Sure enough, power's off. And she's gone. Turn it back on. 12 volts. Very nice. Okay, so the real question is why bother making this portable little 12 volt uh, power supply? Well, one, I had all the parts. <laughs> That's That was a big help. Uh, two, the reason I wanted to do this is because I have an upcoming project and that project uses all 12 volts uh, in the system and I don't want to have to be going back and forth with a battery when I can have a portable 12 volt power supply already here for all the testing I need to do. The other reason and most importantly is if you're ever bench testing anything out of a vehicle, anything that's 12 volts out of a vehicle or motorcycle and you need to bench test it, well and you don't have a battery that you can do that with uh, it's a lot easier if you already have a 12 volt power supply now this is only going to be able to power something 12 volts for uh, a maximum of 22 amps so if it's anything more powerful than that then you're out of luck on this uh, on this little guy but let's say you've got something like this this is a window motor for a, uh, a vehicle it's a Ford window motor and I need to test a few of these out because I have some of these lying around and I need to find out which ones are the good ones and which ones are the bad ones now if I had a, a, a battery here I could do that but if I don't have a battery here's what I would do I'm going to go ahead and put this in here and here and turn it on and there it is I know this works. I got 12 vo volts on my power supply. Switch works perfectly. Now, because it's this is spinning clockwise, because this is DC, all I have to do is reverse the leads. And now it's spinning counterclockwise. So I can test quite a few things out very quickly. And whenever I have anything on the bench and I need to test it, there it is. And an upcoming project. What it is, I don't want to say just yet, but I will tell you this. It is Halloween related. And it is more of a trick than a treat. Thank you all for watching, please. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that little bell to stay up to date on all my future videos. Because the next one is going to be the one that I built this for.